Hume Cronin, a talented actor, made a significant mark in the world of theater and film. With a career spanning decades, he brought to life a wide array of characters, earning respect and admiration. His skillful acting won him awards and the hearts of audiences, making him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. His legacy lies on through his memorable performances and dedication to his craft. Hume Cronin was a talented actor known for his roles in both movies and theater. He had a long and successful career, and many people remember him fondly. We would love to hear if there is a particular moment from one of Hume Cronin's performances that has stayed with you over the years. Also, which of his many roles do you think was the most important in defining his career? Please share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to Hume Cronin in the comments below. We're excited to share many interesting stories about his life, including funny, shocking, and sad facts, so keep watching. Hume Cronin was born in 1911 in London, Ontario, to a well-to-do family. His father, Hume Blake Cronin, was a businessman and a member of parliament, which showed Hume early on the importance of public speaking and storytelling. His mother encouraged his interest in the arts, particularly acting. This nurturing environment was crucial for his growth. From a young age, Cronin was exposed to the world of performing arts. He attended Ridley College, where he actively participated in school plays. This early stage experience was significant in shaping his acting career. His education continued at McGill University, where he further honed his acting skills. A key figure in his early career was the legendary actor and director Guthrie McClintock. After seeing Cronin perform, McClintock encouraged him to pursue acting professionally and even helped him get started in theater. This mentorship was pivotal, providing not only training but also valuable connections in the theater world, which helped launch his career in both Canada and the United States. Hume Cronin was a significant figure in the film industry during his era, especially noted for his partnership with his wife, Jessica Tandy. Together, they became one of Hollywood's most respected acting duos. Cronin's work in film and theater helped set standards for character acting, bringing depth and humanity to his roles, which were often complex and nuanced. His performances not only influenced his peers and future generations of actors, but also helped shape the narrative style of American cinema. By choosing roles that challenged audiences' expectations and exploring themes of aging, memory, and human resilience, Cronin contributed to a broader understanding and appreciation of these issues in mainstream film. His dedication to his craft and his ability to portray relatable, everyday characters left a lasting impression on Hollywood and its approach to storytelling. Hume Cronin discovered his passion for acting while studying at McGill University. Initially planning a legal career, his interest shifted after performing in a school play. This experience ignited his love for acting, leading him to abandon his law studies and pursue acting full-time. His participation in that play was a defining moment, setting him on a path to a successful career in theater and film. Hume Cronin faced tough times while filming Lifeboat as Stanley Garrett. The shooting conditions were so rough that he ended up with two broken ribs. His co-stars also suffered. Talila Bankhead got pneumonia twice, and Mary Anderson fell ill. They had to stop making the movie two times so everyone could get better. In another movie, batteries not included, Hume Cronin played Frank Riley. If you listen closely, you'll hear jazz tunes that are also in Cocoon The Return, a film he was in with Jessica Tandy. Hume also had stepchildren named Jonathan Grant and Kate Glennon. Hume Cronin, the actor, faced significant challenges when he started his career. He had little money, and people in the movie business did not believe he would succeed. Despite these problems, he did not give up. He found new and smart ways to show his acting skills and prove his worth. His hard work paid off as he became known for his acting talent. Cronin's story shows that with determination and creativity, one can overcome tough situations and succeed. While filming Lifeboat, Hume Cronin faced several challenges. The cast suffered from motion sickness, and exposure to cold water led to pneumonia, affecting many, including Talala Bankhead. During a storm scene, Cronin nearly drowned when trapped under a large metal device used to create waves. Fortunately, he was rescued just in time by lifeguard Joe Peterson. 
Cronin also sustained cracked ribs during the production. Hume Cronin and his wife, Jessica Tandy, appeared together in 13 films over 50 years, often playing a married couple. Their films included The Seventh Cross, Blonde Fever, The Green Years, The Moon, and Sixpence, Honky Tonk Freeway, The World According to Garp, Cocoon, Batteries Not Included, Foxfire, Cocoon The Return, The Story Lady, To Dance with the White Dog, and Camilla. And Batteries Not Included, the opening credits feature black and white photos of Frank and Faye, portrayed by Cronin and Tandy. These photos were actual pictures of the couple, reflecting their long-standing real-life marriage. Hume Cronin, a Canadian-American actor, had several significant moments in his acting career. His role in the 1944 film Lifeboat, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, was a major turning point. His performance received high praise and showed his skill in playing complex characters. Another highlight was his collaboration with his wife, Jessica Tandy, in the Broadway production of The Gin Game in 1977. This play was a success and showcased their dynamic as a couple on stage. Cronin's work in Cocoon in 1985 was also notable. The film was successful, and his role as an elderly man who regains his youth struck a chord with many viewers. Throughout his career, Cronin was respected by his peers for his dedication to his craft and his ability to bring depth to his characters. Critics often noted his ability to play a wide range of roles, and he was admired for his consistent performances. Collaborators spoke of his professionalism and the positive atmosphere he created on set. Cronin's achievements in theater and film were recognized with several awards, including a Tony Award and Emmy Awards, reflecting the respect he earned in the industry. Hume Cronin played Herbie Hawkins in the film Shadow of a Doubt, where he worked alongside Oscar winner Teresa Wright and nominees Henry Travers, Patricia Collins, and director Alfred Hitchcock. He attended Ridley College in St. Catharines, Ontario. In the movie, there was a crooked man. He portrayed Dudley Winner. During filming, Cronin was diagnosed with optic cancer, leading to the removal of an eye. Despite this, he adjusted his work schedule, working past 5 p.m., to complete his scenes efficiently. This professional approach helped the film's production continue smoothly under the direction of Joseph L. Mankiewicz. Hume Cronin, a respected actor, had a unique approach to his craft. He often immersed himself deeply in his characters, spending time to understand their backgrounds, motivations, and emotions. This method helped him bring a genuine and relatable presence to his roles. His personal experiences, particularly those from his early career in theater and his long-lasting marriage to actress Jessica Tandy, influenced his acting style. This close relationship not only deepened his understanding of human emotions and relationships, but also showed in his performances, where he skillfully portrayed complex personal dynamics. Cronin's work reflected his belief in the power of storytelling and his commitment to presenting true-to-life characters that audiences could connect with. This dedication made his performances memorable and left a lasting impression on both audiences and fellow actors. Kim Cronin and his wife Jessica Tandy were a remarkable pair in the theater world, both securing Tony Awards for their performances. Hume, with seven nominations, took home the award for his role in Hamlet in 1964. Jessica, on the other hand, was a three-time winner out of her five nominations, recognized for her leading roles in A Streetcar Named Desire, The Gin Game, and Foxfire. Their talents were acknowledged together when they were both nominated for their performances in Foxfire and The Petition. In the world of film, Hume Cronin's role as Arthur Houghton in The Arrangement saw him act alongside notable stars including Oscar winner Faye Dunaway and nominees Kirk Douglas and Deborah Kerr. His performance in Cleopatra as Sausagines also left a lasting impression, with one critic famously noting they never miss a movie starring Hume Cronin, highlighting his strong presence in the epic film. His work, both on stage and screen, has left a significant mark, showcasing his skill and dedication to his craft. Hume Cronin was a respected actor known for his skill in playing diverse roles on stage and screen. His work helped shape acting methods, showing how to bring depth to characters. He was a mentor to many, sharing his knowledge and passion for the craft. Experts say he had a natural ability to make every role believable, which encouraged others to strive for realism in their performances. 
His storytelling was clear and powerful, making audiences feel connected to the story. Cronin's dedication to his roles made him a role model for actors of all ages, proving that hard work and talent are key to success in acting. Hume Cronin brought depth to every role he played, from a newspaper editor in the Parallax View to a political advisor in Sunrise at Camp Ovalo. His early days saw him acting with the Montreal Repertory Company, honing his craft while studying at McGill. In Brute Force, he was Captain Muncie, a role that showcased his talent amid a cast of actors who had once been part of the group theater. This theater group was known for its realistic Broadway productions and had actors who later faced Hollywood's blacklist during the Red Scare. Cronin's direction of Portrait of a Madonna led to his wife, Jessica Tandy, being cast in A Streetcar Named Desire, a testament to his influence in the arts. Hume Cronin, known for his acting, also led a life rich with personal interests and values that shaped his work. He was married to actress Jessica Tandy, and their partnership extended beyond the screen, sharing a deep love for the theater. Together, they supported various charities and were known for their generosity. Cronin was passionate about the environment and education, often advocating for nature conservation and supporting schools. His belief in giving back to the community was evident in his support for arts programs and his efforts to make theater accessible to all. This dedication to philanthropy and community enrichment was a significant aspect of his life, reflecting his belief in the power of art to bring people together and inspire change. Hume Cronin, known for his role as Joe Finley in the movie Cocoon, shared the screen with a talented cast, including Oscar winners Don Amici, Jessica Tandy, and Maureen Stapleton, as well as fellow nominee Jack Guilford. His career also intersected with the Hollywood Blacklist era. Norma Barsman, the wife of Blacklisted writer Ben Barsman, wrote a screenplay titled What Nancy Wanted. Cronin bought this script with the intention to direct it and have his wife, Jessica Tandy, star in it. However, he later sold it to RKO Pictures where Sheridan Gibney was tasked with rewriting it, resulting in the film The Locket in 1946. Cronin's involvement in the arts spanned various roles, from actor to director, and his work with notable figures of his time reflects a rich period in American cinema. Hume Cronin was a respected actor with a career spanning many years. He was known for his skill in bringing characters to life on stage and screen. His work has inspired many who want to follow in his footsteps. For those starting out, he advised learning as much as possible about the craft of acting. He believed in the power of practice and dedication. He encouraged new actors to read widely, watch performances, and always look for ways to improve. He also stressed the importance of patience and resilience as the acting profession can be challenging. His future plans included continuing to act, direct, and write, sharing his love for the arts with the next generation. He hoped to encourage more people to appreciate and participate in the theater and film. Hume Cronin's guidance for aspiring actors is to stay curious, work hard, and never give up on their dreams. Hume Cronin, a respected actor, has an interesting background that reflects his diverse experiences and personal challenges. His father, Hume Blake Cronin, is honored with an observatory at the University of Western Ontario, where the largest refractor telescope in the Western Hemisphere at the time was Billy Tennant and his personal life. Hume Cronin had to overcome significant obstacles, including losing an eye to cancer and having it replaced with a glass one. Before his acting career took off, he was actively involved in sports as a boxer and was even nominated to join the Canadian Olympic boxing team. These aspects of his life show a man who faced and overcame diverse challenges. Hume Cronin's journey in acting showed his love for the craft and his drive to bring new ideas to life on stage and screen. He worked hard, always looking for ways to improve and bring something new to his roles. His dedication to acting made a lasting impression on the world of entertainment. His story reminds us that with creativity, and the will to keep going, we can achieve great things and inspire others to do the same. Hume Cronin showed his dedication to acting in the film Cleopatra, where he played Sausagines. Although he was expected to work on the movie for just over two months, 
He ended up being part of the production for nearly a year. His commitment to the role was clear. In another movie, Cocoon, he portrayed Joe Finley, a character that allowed him to draw on his past as a boxer. Despite losing sight in one eye, which affected his depth perception, he delivered a realistic performance. So much so, that during a scene where his character was supposed to hit someone, he accidentally connected too well, and knocked out the actor playing the orderly. His skill in drama was recognized when he received one of Canada's highest honors, the Officer of the Order of Canada, on July 11, 1988. This award was a nod to his significant contributions to the field of drama. Hume Cronin, a talented actor, earned high honors in the theater world with two Tony Awards. His first win was in 1964 for his role as Polonius in Hamlet, and 30 years later, he received a special Tony Award for Lifetime Achievement alongside his wife, Jessica Tandy. His skill as an actor was recognized with six additional Tony nominations across various categories, including Best Actor and Producer. Beyond his stage achievements, Cronin made a memorable screen debut as Herbie Hawkins in the film Shadow of a Doubt. He also had a family connection to the entertainment industry through his cousin, producer Robert Whitehead. Hume Cronin's performances have left a memorable impression on the film and theater industry. His unique ability to bring characters to life with sincerity and depth makes each of his roles memorable. We would love to hear what you think about Hume Cronin's work and how he influenced your view of acting and storytelling. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy content that celebrates talented artists and their creative work, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for more discussions like this.